Hello, I'm Jamie and this is Baz. Now, make sure you hang around to the end of this video because we'll be announcing an event where you can come and eat with us in London. But first of all, for once in our lives, we get to hang out with a really, actually talented chef. Oh, morning glory. Hello. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a long lunch. <laughs> I make TV shows in Vietnam. Here's the end of this piece, so let's go. We're here in Hoxton on the A10, which is known, this little bit of it, as the Fock Mile. It's full of Vietnamese restaurants. My choice for the best Vietnamese in London is Mian Tay. Mian Tay, it's just here. It's a family-run restaurant. There's four of them in London. Each one is run by a different member of the family. And the restaurant, Mian Tay, is named after the region of Vietnam from where the family comes from. It's South Vietnam. It's big on fish there. And when I was there with Mike and our mate Gary, we had the most phenomenal whole grouper for supper. And that's why I've ordered us the deep-fried whole sea bream. And it comes with fish sauce and mango. Look at that. Wow. Boys, this is one of those really easy dishes to share. Yeah. Tuck in. How, how are we going to do this? <laughs> are you going to do this with chopsticks? I think you have to do it with chopsticks. No, no, Ben, Ben, you just do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Instantly, the texture's exciting. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the cross between like the crispy skin, the, the kind of succulent meat, and then the negative word but slimy but in a good way the <laughs> slimy mango mm. gives you a little bit of everything and then the crunch and the morning glory it's got it's got everything in textures and then bold flavors i don't want to take anything away from the fish because it's delicious but the pow that you get from that mango and the fish sauce it takes over your mouth mm -hmm. and it's incredible I feel in the sense of like, if you go to Vietnam and you you experience those flavors, it's the flavor profiles of different, of the sweet, the salty, the spicy, the, the smoky at times. But this delivers a little bit of, I think you're right, like the texture of that fish. By deep frying it, there's a lovely kind of crispiness to it. That's just altogether different. See, I imagine you two are gonna be saying, oh, this really takes me back to the time. I've not been to Vietnam. So does it bring you to Vietnam? It makes me want to go, mm -hmm. okay. which I think is a good thing. Good thing, yeah. Because if this is how good it can be here in London, I want to know how good it can be when it's when you're there and you're tasting everything. Mm. That is a brilliant start. They do so much stuff, but the whole fish is the way forward winner. Mm. I feel like you got us off to a good start, mate, but I'm about to blow your minds for real. Get your coats on, we've got quite a way to go. I feel this is gonna end badly with more puns. So I kind of thought it was gonna be further, it was literally next door. It's the first mile, why would we go any further? <laughs> any further. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, I've just brought you here for convenience, but I haven't. This place, for House, is one of the best first in all of London. And you wanna know why? Best ingredients, best chefs, and they brew the pho for 24 hours. That's at least twice as long as any other pho I've ever brewed in my life, or had brewed for me. <laughs> Here we have the pho house, special house pho. <laughs> I think that that's, was what good. that's what it's called. It's, good. it's got beef brisket, beef balls, rare beef, chicken, quail's eggs, Everything. It looks amazing though, doesn't it? Oh, I'm intrigued by what a beef ball is. Is that a beef ball? Of course you are, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you can join us anytime. <laughs> the first dish I ever had in Vietnam was pho. And I was pretty much mesmerized by the fact that there's all these additional accompaniments. So you have the soup, yeah, you have mint, you mint. lovely bean spray, the chili, and then a bit of lime as well. So it feels like, yeah, it feels like it's soup with a bit of extra going on. Mmm, beefy. There's a word that we've banned ourselves from using from all sorts of videos. Mm. It's depth, like depth of flavor. And I, I wanna try and talk to you about what I'm tasting when I say depth of flavor. The flavors have really matured. And yet for all that intensity, it is a really clear broth. Mm. Like it's not a deep color, it's just an amazing kind of 
wonderful, soft noodle, fragrant with a, there's not many dishes that are acceptable to put an entire sprig of mint on, and it's actually good thing. I'm so glad we finally got Ben to admit that there are not that many dishes that you should put a whole sprig of meat on. <laughs> mm -hmm. How can you possibly top this? Well, I have someone that I think can help with that. I have an Instagram friend who is the queen of Vietnamese flavours in, in London. So, I'm hoping that I can get up there and beat you all to us. So we're not going next door then? No, what's this about? Where are we going? So, we are in Islington, which I'm told is north of London, <laughs> yes? <laughs> and we're at the little VS kitchen. And basically, we've come here because one of my Instagram pals, Tui, uh, she runs this place. She originally ran it as a supper club and it now has a bricks and mortar restaurant. And she is an expert on all things Vietnamese. So I had thought that the summer rolls might be a good choice here or any of the kind of classics. But basically, Tui has just come and explained that we are in her house and she is going to take control of how we are going to eat the food tonight. So I have no idea. You guys all presented a specific dish. I have no idea of what we're going to eat and I think that's probably the best way to enjoy a restaurant like this. We have the advice of the chef and we've got some wonderful dishes coming away. I don't know what's coming but I can guarantee you we're going to eat well. As she was talking about the dishes and what it means, mm. she was welling up, which meant I was welling up. <laughs> and it was it was amazing. I I can't wait to eat. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is the perfect example of why Tui's restaurant and supper club is so successful because she is a feeder <laughs> and she makes sure that people have a good time. I mean, we came in probably for one dish and we've ended up with an entire table filled with food that looks, it looks incredible. You ready? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the rare beef and the brisket. Yeah. This reminds me of corned beef in flavour but with so many added herbs and spice and fragrance mm. that is just on another level. And this is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Char grilled quail with watermelon, chilli, crispy garlic. Oh my goodness, that takes me back <laughs> to Hanoi. The only difference is I'm sitting in comfier furniture <laughs> at a nicer table than I was there. But I, I just... I actually lost for words. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> well, that's some of it's sweat and some of it's tears. They're sweaty tears. This is the original. This is the Vietnamese version. This is. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you, Joey. There's more gap here. Oh, stop it! Oh, no. If you bring up any more food, we will be in bits. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 I like you. Yeah. <laughs> She's the feeder to my eater personality. <laughs> I think you two will get on very well. <laughs> I think if you bounce from that plate to this plate to some greens to some dippage of spring rolls you absolutely get everything every texture every flavor quite a bit of spice <laughs> and just such an incredible overwhelming experience of vietnam it's food you want to get involved with Wow, what, is <laughs> what time is this? It's like <laughs> nearly 10 o'clock. We started this at 12. We started this early afternoon, which is why the first two places were so quiet. And they, yes, they were no frills, authentic Vietnamese food and the deep fried fish and the morning glory was amazing. Mm -hmm. That was just step one. Mm -hmm. Then we had the 24 hour broth for the pho, which was sensational until well, I just, you I don't, I don't want to be, you know, confident in saying that I feel like we, we've delivered on an epic Vietnamese feast and Tui has just like blown us away with what Vietnamese food can be, what it is and how you can take traditional recipes and put your own spin on them. And I'm sorry, but I feel like, you know, if we were to choose one winner, <laughs> we normally, <laughs> we normally fight our corner. I'm just saying. Don't know you won, and <laughs> Tui, we're coming back to eat and learn some more. Actually, the real winner here is Tui, because if you uh, if you need to go to one Vietnamese restaurant in London, that's, that's it. it, 100%. Back to the fridge. Now, make sure you give this video a like, and also go and subscribe to Donal. All the links are downstairs. Now, the little Viet kitchen was so good, and we all fell in love with Tui a little bit, a little bit. that in between filming this video and releasing it, we've agreed with them to put on a dinner so you can get the same special treatment that we did. The event is on Sunday the 25th of November and, well, the tickets are available now. So book them and come and join us. Get all the info downstairs, sign up to the Sorted Club and come and join us. In the meantime, subscribe, 
click the bell and comment below because we read all the comments. We'll see you every Wednesday, every Sunday at 4 p.m. Forevermore. Goodbye. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Sharp. I don't know what the rest of the words are. Uh -huh.